Hey everybody, Wayne here. We have another unboxing video for you today. This one just got in today from Holland Spiel. It is their newest release. NATO Air Commander. Alright. Sorry for the glare, by the way. Um, it's pretty early in the morning here before I work, so the light's on in here. And Usually I like to film in sunlight when there's not as much glare, but it'll be a little less when I take the plastic off at least. All right, NATO Air Commander. A solitaire strategic air command in World War III game. Designed by Brad Smith. Published by Hollenspiel. NATO Air Commander. Let's see what we got here. I'll just stay out of the light a little bit for you guys. On the 1st of May, 1987, the Soviet Union invaded Western Europe. In a masterstroke of planning and deception, the Red Army carried out its preparations in total secrecy, catching the NATO ground forces by surprise. The West's only hope is to achieve supremacy in the air. It won't be easy. The odds are against them, and the cause looks lost. With limited resources, multiple targets, and mounting political pressure, you'll have to make the right call at the right time. You are commander of the Allied Air Forces, Central Europe, and the fate of the world is in your hand. Oh, that's good stuff. All right. Made this plastic off here so we can stop looking at that glare. Oops. Oh, it's way better without the glare. Yeah. I was so bad about it at the beginning. There we go. Look at that. Way better now. All right. Very cool. Oop. Three complete scenarios. Each playable in the evening. Each simulating a different stage of build-up and preparedness. Multi-use card deck to make mission resolution clean, simple, and quick. Interrelated mission types, including, well, there's a bunch of acronyms here. Um, NATO Air Commander is a gripping and challenging, oh, challenging is spelled wrong, solitaire strategy game from first time designer Brad Smith. Tools of your disposals are powerful. Can more or less guarantee the success of a given raid by assigning the right mix of aircraft, but limited in number, forcing you to choose your battles carefully. You take risks in order to achieve objectives. Very cool. All right, let's open it up. Let's see what we got in here. Oh. Oh, cards look like they were um, supposed to be in a in a sleeve. We got a little loose in here. Hold around a little bit. Let's see. These are the resolution cards. So this is a um, diceless game. <gasps> Shock! I know. Before you um, cancel your order, um, take, let's take a look at it. <laughs> At first, was like diceless. Diceless combat resolution? Uh-oh. But, I don't know. I've been reading the rule book, and, I don't know, it looks, looks pretty cool. It looks like it could be a good game, so we'll check it out. So these are resolution cards, which none of them, even though they kind of rolled around in there, none of them, no damage on the edges, doesn't look like. Nice card. Nice thickness. Good artwork on the back. Oop, try to get out of that glare there. So I know the cards, um, like I said, it's diceless, so you're drawing cards um, as part of the, there's an event in the bottom, but then I think the, primarily, why we use the cards for these numbers here. So when you're conducting the different types of missions, um, using these numbers to resolve them. So, are they all resolution cards, or are there another type of card? Uh, they're all mixed up now, because of the rolling around in there. So, let's see. Excuse me while I try to semi-organize. I just want to see if there's... thought there was other types of cards. I mean, again, I've never played the game. I just... Here we go. Objective card. So, what's that one look like? Okay. Commander North Ag requests three closer support hits in Sector Alpha. Success or failure? All right. Makes sense. There. 
So there's three of them. Is that how it works? So it's like three objective cards, so maybe it's, I don't know, not the main objective. Is it three throughout the game or something? All right. Well, anyway, so those are the cards. So good stock, um, you know, look good. Nice rounded corners. They're nice cards. Um, how much people, when they started adding cards to their games, they're, they got, or they get them from their nice cards. So, and none of, like I said, none of them pure damage even when they're not in a sleeve. I'll sleeve them up individually. So, that's no problem. All right. Oh, like, look at this. Hidden underneath. Some more objective, this whole other stack of objective cards. All right, that makes a little more sense now. Maybe you get a little variety in those. I was worried. I'm like, there's only three of them. A variety. It's kind of rolled around in there. All right. There's counter sheet. I'm trying to figure out which side is the front. So I know it's the Warsaw Pact. Obviously, you can see the hammer and sickle in there. If you can see it up close, without the glare, see that? No. And the, the circle cohesion rating on there. And this says they move along the thrust lines. We'll look at the map. Um, so I think the game has um, you know, vague um, hints of uh, State of Siege style, um, where you know the Warsaw Pact is moving in on lines you know you have to push them back hold them and push them back uh, you know stages of siege style in, at least in the very basics part of it i know there's a lot more to this game with the cards and how they interact a lot of choices turn to turn mission to mission but just give you a general idea and we'll look at that when we look at the main map all right so then the nato obviously the nato um force ground forces i believe here their cohesion rating like i said double-sided yep Interesting how the um, Warsaw Pact has uh, has the little hammer and sickle, but then NATO is nothing. Just blue. All right. PGM equipped precision guided munitions, I believe. Uh, uh, here we go. Get into pilots and aircraft. Um, I did see a play test counters where they listed the name of the aircraft, like the type. Um, it's not on there, but there is a little silhouette, so you can easily tell. You know, you're looking at the A-10 Warthog, or looks like maybe, I don't know what that one is. F-14? I don't know. F-16, I believe. F-15. Um, different colors for the different types. Oh, that's what the back's actually, because... See the stripe for reduced, I assume. This is the front. Designating your raids. Um, you have the aircraft again. Oh, there's supposed to be the stealth. There it is. Stealth bay right there. Cool. Only has one side. So it's fragile. -y. Very fragile. All right. Enough of those counters. What do we got here? What else, what, uh, what else do we have? All right. Let's see. We have a rule book and a map. Uh, no play raid with the game. A lot of the Hollisburg games have been coming with play raids lately, and maybe this one doesn't need one as much. All right, rule book. Looks like down here, 10 pages. Oh, play raid is here. Very nice, that's the play raid. All right, so. Pretty standard. Uh, Holland Spiel rule book. This is not very long. Like I said, it was 10 pages. Um, everything's broken up. Case style, 4.0, 5.0. I read through it once. It, it seems pretty clear. Um, don't do a whole lot of illustrations, but then again, you don't necessarily need them when you're dealing with, you know, these, uh, I want to say light games, lighter games. There's some oh, scenario stuff. So really, we get before the scenarios, we're looking at seven. Seven pages of actual rules because the rest looks like it's scenario stuff. Like I said, the play rate on the back instead of a separate play rate is in the back of the rule book. Not sure how I feel about that, but it is what it is. Might end up copying that and just having it up separate. All right, let's check out this map. And what was it? What did it say? Box said it was a, it's a 22 by 17 map sheet. There we go. If we 
guys can see. Does it look good on there? All right, cool. I'll put it under Plexi to flatten it out. All right. Well, the map looks pretty good. Um, hope you guys can kind of can see it pretty well. I'm trying to get out of the way again with the. Sorry about the the light and everything. Just because, like I said, it's super early in the morning, so I have to use the overhead light here. It, it doesn't work as well when I'm trying to do these videos. Um, so it looks like the usual tracks. What's up? Happy reinforcements. I know those are different lines. So, like I said before, I know the game has um, uh, roots in States of Siege. So, but it doesn't, you know, it's definitely grown far beyond a simple States of Siege game. But, you know, you're having the Warsaw Pact beginning here in the east, moving west. Along these different tracks, different thrust lines, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. So these are tied into these. That's listed here, Alpha, Bravo. Um, there are the missions so when you run, you do your raids. And I believe it's you pick, you know, you fill up your raid here with like your primary air escort and then seed. I, I don't remember all the acronyms. There's a lot of acronyms in this game. I don't, I don't know what that one is offhand. Um, but then you go ahead and you put that raid marker, I believe, over there to show where you are. And then you resolve, you know, flipping cards, um, comparing numbers, things like that. So, you know, your aircraft, damage repaired, basing, pilots. Oh, my God, I'm ready to go. Game turn, resource point track, PGM, precision guided munitions. There's only so many you have. Dead track, again, an Oka track, again, another couple more. Um, interesting that they don't just say, say it here. There's definitely enough room to write out what Oka is, or dead, you know, you can put the acronym in parentheses, so that way it's easier to look at this, look it down here and say, what is that again? Oh yeah, that's it, but I suppose you play it a couple dozen times, you're going to have everything memorized, but it's someone who plays a lot of different games, I definitely appreciate when they make it maybe a little easier, but it's not a deal breaker at all, it's just, it's one of those design things that I'm sure whoever <laughs> played, tested it, I'm sure they were very comfortable with it, so they didn't even think of anything like that. Battlefield Surveillance Event Card, next turn Event Card, and then what is that over here? Warsaw Pack Victory Points, oh yeah, so, no good. Well, and then, I believe, oh, here it is. I was going on about not being able to see anything, or not being able to have the acronyms, and here they are right here. They'll teach me to, let's see, Air Escort, Intercept versus Air, Seed, Ground Defense versus Ground Attack. Well, okay, maybe it doesn't exactly say what it is, but it does tell you. It doesn't say what the acronym is, but it tells you kind of what the idea is. Dead is strike. Oka is no strike. Oh, maybe how you use what you use on your pilots. So I know, let's go back to the counters. So with your aircraft, um, I believe it's like um, air... Air to ground, so like first number is air power, second number is air to ground, third is strike. So like special missions, special missions. So for instance, a stealth fighter, no good at actually fighting, not that really not good at ground attack, but really good at special strike missions. So something like that. Yeah, I haven't played the game yet. Just read through the rule book once. Um, my usual thing when I see a game I like. I, i read the rule book once or twice before I pick it up. All right. Um, yeah, so that's NATO Air Commander. Looks good. Looks standard. Uh, Holland Spiel. You know, you get probably going to get a lot of game for your buck. That's the way Holland Spiel usually is. It's probably been play tested. I heard this thing has been in development for, uh, I think, a couple years. So let's uh, let me get it to the table and try it out, and I'll let you guys know. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you.